Oh, and by the way, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I started this week. There is a link down below. Let's go for 1,000 followers and then I will give away free shirts from Soccer Deal Shop. Let's go. Click the link to TikTok right now. Who are the best possible three players in every single position in FIFA 23's Ultimate Team? I'm your boy, FIFA Love FIFA. And amazing that you're all watching. Leave a like. Let's go. And if you want to buy these amazing players, but you're out of coins, don't worry. Go to u7buy.com. There are links in the comment section and description. And when you use the code, Viva, you don't only get 6% off your deal, you also receive millions of coins for just a couple of bucks. Hit the link, buy the team, and get the victories you never got before. Starting off the episode with the goalkeepers, and you can see it, for every single category, we're shaping them in three categories, under 100k, under 500k, and then the no limit players. Like, we go up to Ronaldinho left wing, 14 million coins and everything between the 500k and that area so yes if you're looking for goalkeepers you want reflexes and diving one and two handling positioning numbers three and four so i'm going to show you the best goalkeepers for every single competition kayla Navas and jackie butland are the must buy players in the premier league no doubt about that Manuel Neuer is my Bundesliga machine. Same goes for Courtois and Chesney in the La Liga and the Serie A. And Mike Magno might be even better than Chesney. So you can choose multiple goalkeepers in the Serie A. This year, the Serie A is kicking ass with all their amazing players. If we're going to take a next step in upgrading our team, I can recommend you guys Casillas. Edwin van der Sar, his mid icon, and we have team of the year. Yes, Thibaut Courtois, 96 rated. And this Courtois, it's unreal that he is cheaper than Yashin and Edwin van der Sar. You see down the right hand side of the screen. Yashin and Edwin are, of course, icons. They are incredible. But this Courtois card, it is just insane. So the best player on this page is Thibaut. But Yashin, Van der Sar, their icons, they're easier to link in other teams. They might be a little bit more expensive. But once again, Courtois is a no-brainer if you're building yourself a La Liga team. We go to the center backs. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and put in the notification bell. Video shorts is all here on this channel. If you want to go on better and get more knowledge about FIFA, this is the channel to follow. The center back I would go for in the Serie A is Kim Min Jao in combination with Kalulu. You're good to go until the end of FIFA. They might be only 86 and 87 rated, but they will kill any striker they will be facing. In the La Liga, I can recommend you guys Araujo. He's two times on the speed, but we're talking about the cheapest version. Cloisterman is a dream coming true if you like speed abuse in the Bundesliga. And Cesar Azpilicueta is your Premier League center back to chase. Even better than normal card, Virgil van Dijk. Yeah, guys. Now we go to under 500k and there we find the likes of one to watch Antonio Rudiger. The card is already a dreamy, amazing card. I can only get it better. Rio Ferdinand, of course, a usual suspect. Koulibaly, something like that. He's a great card. Tomori could be an upgrade for you if you'd like to upgrade Kalulu or Kimin Jiao. And Presley Kampembe. The man who only went to the fans when he lost against AS Monaco this season to say, I am sorry for that, has a beautiful Centurion card because he's a proud leader and the best of the best center backs. Here we go for people like you who have a shitload of money to spend on the FIFA game. We have Araujo, his better card, future superstar Araujo, 90 defending, 90 physicality with 86 pace, yes. He's like almost the same like Rafa Avarone. Make a La Liga Premier League combo and you're good to go. Maldini, of course, we know him. Eder Militao received a beautiful Team of the Year card. Lucio, World Cup hero, is a usual suspect. And Team of the Year, Virgil van Dijk, is the best center back you can get. From the center backs, we go to the right backs. And there you're looking for speed, good dribbling, nice defending, nice physicality, and decent passing as well. And all these players will give you that. For example, Amavi is the best choice with... Carvajal, uh, sorry, Lucas Vasquez, of course, of Real Madrid, and normally Carvajal, so right back. They're the best options in the La Liga. Both of them 
are beautiful cars. In the league, uh, we go for FC Nantes right back Fabio, but also a shout out to Traore of Stade Rem. He has an 87 rated in form. He's not on the page, but he's a beauty. Dumfries is the best in the Serie A, like Jules Kunde will beat it in the La Liga as well. But I say use Jules Kunde as a center back. He's better on that position. And Seamus Coleman is the best cheap right back in the Premier League. If you don't have the coins, hunt for Kyle Walker. He's cheaper, but also amazing. Then you upgrade your players with Jogo Dalo in the EPL or Trent Alexander-Arnold. Hakimi is a dreamy card in the Paris Saint-Germain team in the League 1. And Zambrada, yes, his first card is actually maybe his best card. And for that reason, go grab Zambrada. The best right backs to get at the moment is Walker. World Cup moment, Javier Zanetti. El Tractore, as they call him, El Capitano. Multiple nicknames for this man, a beautiful guard, Cafu. And the best man out there, of course, no surprise, after an amazing World Cup and a good season with Paris Saint-Germain, is team of the year, Haki. From right back to left back, before we go to the midfield, there we find Biragi, Ismaili, Nuno Mendes, and Jordi Alba. And in all honesty, the left back position is one of the weakest overpowered formations uh, positions sorry to use if you know what i mean so right back has so many choices left backs it's all okay it's all okay but nothing spectacular in the premier league i could recommend you guys jock and silo normal gold cup for example but that's it if you want to look for a serious option, you're ending up with spending around 300, 400k with Andrew Robertson and Jao Cancelo Team of the Year, or one of the best cards there, Team of the Year nominee card, Alfonso Davies. The best left backs to go for, we have of course the icons, Joe Cole, World Cup moment, Roberto Carlos, usual suspect, Tio Hernandez, Team of the Year card, a beauty, but also Ferlo Mendy is stealing the show with a beautiful winter wild card. And we have Juan Cap de Villa, the World Cup winner of 2010. Now let people know that he was the number one left back in the Spanish national team back then, winning against a Dutch team, and he's still one of the highest valued cards. We're going to the midfield, and they're starting off with the CDMs. For a CDM, you want speed, defending, physicality, and proper passing and dribbling. It's a plus. Zumbo, the best in the Serie A to go for. And here's a little bit of a cheat. Lisandro Martinez is normally a left back. He can play center back and CDM. On the CDM spot, his stats are the best to call him overpowered on a cheap notice. Asien, nice to get an icon for less than 100k. Mascherano and Brozovic are also beautiful cards to get on the CDM position. Let's go to the under 500k and there we find with Rafa Marquez a better version of Mascherano. This time a player for the Spanish La Liga. Zakaria is one of the best CDMs ever in the Premier League. Kamavinga can play center mid, but I use him as a CDM because his shooting for me is too low to actually use him as a center mid. And Emmanuel Petit, after scoring the third goal in the World Cup final of 1998, he got this amazing card. Club Makalele is also a great CDM. Finally, a Makalele who's usable. Welcome. And Golo Kante, hey, he's your brother. They almost feel the same in the game. Their playing style, their length, their body type, it's almost like they reincarnated Makalele before he actually died because he's still alive and they got Angola Kante. And Lothar Mateus is also great, the best so far, and still is, my favorite, Yaya Toure. If you're looking for central minutes, you're looking for box-to-box -box complete players. Every single stat should be over 80 in this period of FIFA, around mid-February when I'm recording this video. So for example, the Serie A is heaven. Rabiot, Milinkovic, Fagiolo and Wijnaldum, they're all coming from the Serie A. Yes, I can't choose anybody over them. So the Serie A, as I told you, is heaven for a cheap central mid. And Toliso is saving the day for the league. Uh, but don't worry if you're building yourself a Premier League side. Fred Centurion is one of the best cars you've used in this prize category. Frankie is a great passing player in the La Liga. Gavi is nice, compatible with Frankie on the position. And the first Ruth Gullet baby card is there. 86 rated, but you'll feel like him. 90. Five rated player and then we have no limit so i've selected seven players who's new enzo fernandez of chelsea nice beautiful card 1.7 mil might be a little bit overpriced i think he will drop down look at modric team of the year jude bellingham team of the year and kevin de bruyne team of the year are all there and then we have a shapeshifter no no it's winter wildcard but this time it's center mid for karim benzema with cool looking stats and marquisio and ruth gullet his super good prime 
No, I, it's not his prime, is it? It's uh, mid icon. Is this mid icon? I believe. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he has a higher rated card as a center forward. So these are the best center mids. Let's go to the camp. For camps, you look for nice speed in combo with agility. Dribbling, shooting, and passing. I don't care about the physicality and defending too much. So for that reason, Haji and Weiruni are nice camps. Go get them defensively. I don't care. As I told you, Park Yi Sung is a complete camp. You don't see that any day of the week. Jackie Gralish, position modifier, left wing. Uh-uh, camp, a beauty. Fakir, just a perfect La Liga camp to use. Marco Royce, Centurion card, is a great player to build your Bundesliga team around. Jaden Sancho is unstoppable in the EPL, just like his team in Bruno from Nandesh. And Shurki is there with a league E card who's quite compatible with Neymar Jr., Lionel Messi, and all the other Paris Saint-Germain superstars. The best camps are JJ Okacha, a trickster, a skill meister. If you're good in skilling in FIFA, Gigi Okacha is a web dream. Mosiola, great, but just like uh, Enzo Fernandez, I think his price will come down. Ronaldinho, of course, is like uh, Gigi Okacha, but then even better. Pili, his highest rated card is a cam. Did you know that? Well, here he is. Neymar Jr., is he a baby? Nope, but he has a beautiful baby card. And Zidane Zidane, moment. I believe it is World Cup 2000, uh, no, sorry, World Cup 1998 after scoring two heading goals against Brazil. No time to waste. If you love the video, leave a like, subscribe, put on the notification bell. Videos like this will cost around 10 hours to create. I love doing it for you every single day, but a like will mean the world. Subscribe for more, put on the notification bell. We have Serge Gnabry in the Bundesliga. Speed, dribbling, passing, shooting. That's what you're looking for in a winger, by the way. Garrett Bale, perfect super sub, coming from LAFC. He quit already, so this card will never ever be back in FIFA. Lozano by far the best choice in your Serie A team. Same goes for Dembele and Ilanga in the La Liga and the EPL. Then we go upgrading Ilanga with Anthony. Once again, he's celebrating Latin like Neymar Jr. Something like Brazilian players do or something like that. Okay, uh, Landon Donovan. Hero. Derek Hoyt. Hero. Both of them are great to use in any team. And Saka and Rodrigo. Brazilian and the Englishman. Got knocked out early at the World Cup but still have beautiful cards in FIFA. And the best front wingers to go for. Salah is by far the best in the Premier League. Jarzinho is great. And David Beckham. I hear people say he's overpriced. What do you think, boys? Did you use David Beckham in a draft or just had so much money in your bag so you got him? Is he good or is he overpriced let me know in the comment section down below and team of the year Lionel Messi by far is the best right winger turning the page to the left wingers a beautiful position to hunt for cheap overpowered metal players for example Rafael Leal will cost you 40,000 coins but will feel like an icon Fred Shapeshifter is nice for the Premier League but Neymar Jr is also only 70k as we speak with that one of the best players can join your team Carrasco recommendation for the La Liga side and Pavel Nedved Yes, he's also under 100k, the Czech Republic icon. Tio Hernandez as a shapeshifter is still there, just like Joe Cole. Doctor Strange is still building his dream. Thierry Henry, Sadio Mane, icon, one to watch. The one to watch can only get better. And with Sadio Mane, you know for sure, he will be better. Newly card Mudrik of Chelsea, costed one. 120 million pounds in real life is 1.2 million coins in FIFA. Isn't that a bargain? Ginola, Mbappé, Vinicius, usual suspects, and what a car for Ronaldinho. World Cup Monum, I believe 2002, when he scored an amazing free kick over David Seaman. Look it up on YouTube, by the way, if you missed it. This car is worth 14 million Coins. Finishing the episode off with the strikers, Santa forwards. Leave a like, subscribe, and put on all notifications if you love this channel. We have Adama Traore, Luis Hernandez, Moments, World Cup 1998, Enkitia, Wayne Rooney, 88 Icon, and Alexander Lacazette. All available for around 150k or a little bit more to 200k plus. But promise me. They're worth it. They will win you games that you normally never win. Upgrading them is quite hard, but we try to do it with Smolarek and Brolin. Both hard to link. It's Bundesliga for Smolarek and I believe it is Serie A for Brolin, but if you get them, they're pure class finishers. Samuel Eto'o is lightning quick, will not let you down. And Dembele might not have the shooting, but his agility and speed is so good. You don't need it. You sweat your way to glory with him. And the ultimate best of the best strikers you will use. Benzema, Haaland, Mbappé. We all know them as team of the year. But my personal favorite 
and it might surprise you, is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He is six foot five, I believe. He's a skill master. He has 90 pace, 91 shooting, and we will never ever see a card that good for Zlatan in any FIFA game. So I use him all the time. I used all my money in FIFA I got to bring Zlatan to my team. I actually built a hybrid for that. I normally play with a Premier League type, but Zlatan is my personal favorite. Nothing has Red Gullet or Ronaldo Nazario, nothing at all, but Zlatan, well, call it something, a man of my age, 35. I grew up with Zlatan as a teenager, and he's just for me a wonderful player. 41 years old, and he's ending this video on a high. If you love it and want to see more, click the i button for good squad builders. For every prize range, I build something that will get you victories, tips and tricks, how to become better than FIFA. It's all on this channel. And follow me on TikTok as well. Viva La FIFA. Look it up. There is a link down below in the description. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all a beautiful day.